my god, this is a look. Good morning, friends. It is today Friday. It is Friday, and I've just gotten up and just got changed. Um, haven't got a whole lot planned today. The first thing I'm going to do is get my eyelash extensions fixed. I don't know what's happened, but on my left eye, it's almost like I have a sty. I'm not quite sure, but every time I accidentally bump my lashes or like lean on my eye when I'm sleeping, it kills. And I don't know what's happened or what the go is. So I'm going to see Alex, my lash tech, to see if she can fix it. Um, because yeah, it's very, very sore. Before we get into anything, I'm going to have my usual morning ritual, which is a scoop of Oxy Shred, just to get me pumped up and ready for the day. Um, and then I actually might make a smoothie to drink on the way down there because I'm pretty hungry. So I'm going to go make that now. So I am yet to get a like camera, what do you call it, tripod thingy for my car. Haven't quite got that yet. If anyone is watching this and they have one or they know of where I can get a good one where I can sit my camera on and film please let me know in the description below or like leave me a link or something so I know where to get one okay so I've just parked um, my salon doesn't open for another 10 minutes, so I'm just going to sit in my car and wait until that opens. Really awkward, this lady just got into her car next to me and was literally just like watching me, so I was like, I'm not doing anything, I promise. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead inside and I'll chat to you guys when I get out to see what we can do about this situation. So I just got back from seeing Alex and... She fixed me while keeping my lashes on. It was one lash that I must have like bumped and it connected to another lash. And oh my God, it feels so much better now. She like fiddled with it and she was like, is it this one? And I was like, yes, but it's all fixed. So I feel a lot happier now and I'm finally not in pain, yay. So yeah, I'm home, but Chris and I are gonna eat some food before he goes to work. And then I'll touch base with you soon. This is what happens when you haven't been grocery shopping in over a week. Food is here. He's playing the PlayStation. He'll be a while. But I'm going to get right in here. What have we got? Oh. Apple juice. Two apple juices. And two breakfast burgers. These are honestly like the best things in the world. Oh, so good. So yummy. So, my nan just came over and she got us this lamp. I think it's cute. It was really cheap from our. Ow! Oh! Cheap from our. Ow! I just poked myself in the throat with this. <gasps> that is so sharp. I'm gonna try and set it up. It's pretty big. Together. Just remind anyone else of that little D Disney Pixar lamp. Just for me. So I may or may not have just had a nap. I needed it. 
I just lay down and I just fell asleep for like an hour. Oh, what's the time? It's 2.12. So, we are going to have some lunch. I am planning on going to the gym at 4.30 and have dinner with my nan. But I really want to do a face mask. Only because my skin needs some loving at the moment. So I have some hour to, like, you know, two hours to kill. So I might do one now and do it in front of you. I currently have a little magpie sitting outside. He comes to my apartment every single day. I haven't named him yet. But I feel like I should name him. But anyway, yeah, I actually feel really sick from that breakfast burger, but it was so good. Anyway, I'll go and get my lunch ready and I'll show you what I'm gonna have. So I've just got myself a salad packed full of different things. So yeah, I've got some carrots, some cucumber, I've got some corned beef in there, just some like deli corned beef. A little bit of cheese, spring onions, um, celery, I've got some cherry tomatoes. I've just been really feeling like salads lately as it has literally been like 30 degrees outside. So I'm going to go eat my lunch and I might come and do a face mask when I'm done. Okay, so I've actually decided to do my face mask when I get back from the gym because there's honestly no point in doing a face mask. And then I'm about to get real sweaty. So I've just literally been, literally been, <laughs> literally been sitting on the couch watching YouTube videos. I'm trying to get myself into a habit of drinking more water. And I'm not a huge water fan. Like, I know some people love drinking water, but I'm not one of those people. So I've nearly drank my first liter, which is good. And I'll obviously drink more when I'm at the gym because... They're going to kill me as always, but I'm excited for you guys to see PLC and see the sessions they run. Because like I said in my Instagram stories, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I think you should. If you're a local Brizzy um, person, you definitely need to check them out. They, I'm pretty sure they're running like a five day free trial at the moment. Honestly, their sessions are freaking amazing. Like they kill you. You feel like you're going to die for about 45 minutes, but I promise you, it is such a good feeling afterwards. Like, honestly, you walk out of there feeling incredible. So, I'm excited for you guys to see what I do. To be completely honest with you, I don't even know what session's tonight. I probably should look that up before I go, but that's okay. So, I'm going to get, like I said earlier, um, someone to at least try and film a little bit of the session so you guys can see what kind of workouts I like to do and yeah I'm gonna try and finish this before I go that's one liter down if I can get one more liter in by the end of today I'll be proud that's a lot of water for this little girl to drink all right well I'll see you when I'm at the gym <laughs>
Oh my god, guys, that was a workout and a half. Oh god. Yep. That was an absolute killer, and I'm so sorry if the sound's muffly because of my aircon, but it's 30 degrees here in Brisbane at the moment, and your girl's not driving home without an aircon. So, sorts about that. I really hope you enjoyed, um, you know, seeing what kind of workouts I do at the gym because, like, all my workouts are not like that by any means. That one, I train like that probably once, twice a week at max. The rest of my workouts are usually, like, purely weight-based. Like, there's no cardio, no, like, no jumping involved. Purely just lifting. So, that one was a rare occurrence yet yeah, doesn't happen very often and another reason why I love PLC which is the gym I was just at as you saw is because they're so like they're so what do you call it like encouraging like you know I love going to a gym where people encourage you they push you instead of like just training on your own where you can slack off because I find if I'm training like that on my own I will honestly like bludge I won't work near as hard as I would like training with other people and like where they're pushing you so I definitely highly suggest training in a group training environment if you can um, so yeah that one was called Thor I believe that session it was like a mix between like weights and cardio and I really enjoyed it I'm not I'm an absolute wreck now, but I'm actually gonna go home, have a shower, might wash my hair, and um, I think I'm gonna do my face mask later like I was, what? I think I'm going to do my face mask tonight um, after dinner. I'm going out for dinner with my nan tonight, which I'm really excited. She's just moved up here to Brisbane with us, so I'm just so thankful to have her up with me, because I used to live with her, if you didn't know that. Um, but yeah, gotta go home, have a shower, wash my hair, go out for dinner, and then I'll come home and we can do a face mask together. So, I actually didn't end up finishing, finishing vlogging, finish vlogging yesterday, um, because I ended up just going out for dinner with my nan and we just got gas bagging the whole night, so I never came back home until after 9.30 when Chris was home, so... I have just cleansed my face just then and I'm actually going to do a face mask. This is honestly my favourite face mask at the moment. This is the Ayla Skin Pink Perfect Australian Pink Clay Mask and it is meant to detoxify and brighten. So I've actually used this a fair bit and I'll show you. Like I've already used this quite often so I'm actually going to show you how it works and how it you know detoxifies i have my nose pierced as you can see whenever i do face masks i actually take my nose stud ring out so i don't have to work around it so i'm just gonna take that out so i actually usually use like this cute little face mask brush but i have no idea where it's gone so pretty much all i do is just paint this all over my face this smells incredible. And another reason why I love this face mask is it doesn't like irritate my skin. Like it doesn't make it really red afterwards. No, it's just really nice. And it's pink. Who, wouldn't, who doesn't love a pink face mask? So with this mask, I usually like to go quite heavy handed. I honestly have the worst luck with this eye at the moment. So, as you would have saw at the beginning of the video, I had to go to Alex, my lash tech, to get um, like some lashes on my eye fixed because I was in a lot of pain. And last night, like my eye just started getting really, really sore. And this morning, I've woken up and I have a sty right on the inner corner on like the lower lash line of my left eye. 
Oh my god, like I've had styes in the past, but this one, I actually forgot how painful they are. This one is really, really sore. I read on Google that if you like get a warm face cloth or something and like put pressure on the area with the warm face cloth that's meant to like help bring the impurities like out and whatnot. And yeah, I usually leave this on for about 20 minutes or until it dries. This is one of those masks where like when it starts drying, you literally cannot move your face. So while that's sinking in, I actually thought I would also jump on here and tell you um, what my favorite skincare products at the moment. And this, did I say that right? My favorite skincare products? I didn't even think about that. Um, my favorite skincare products is what I was meant to say. This is actually one of them. Like I said, it, I've been using it for a while now and I haven't had any issues. I feel like it does actually minimize the appearance of pores. So this is what it says on the bottle. It says the process spread mask, evenly around your face, relax and sit for 10 minutes. I leave it for 20 and then you just remove it with warm water and a face towel and then just put moisturizer on so it's super easy okay so I've just bought um, the pink clay mask up on the internet it says detoxifies and brightens your skin safe for sensitive skin types tightens your skin's pores extracts pollutants and nasties from your skin and assists in removing sorry assist in the removal of acne and pimples and it is vegan and cruelty free which is another reason why I love this product so much you can actually now purchase at all Priceline stores across the country so make sure you head down to your local Priceline and pick this bad boy up it I really enjoy it and I honestly wouldn't be mentioning on here if I didn't like it so definitely go check that out once I wash the mask off I'm gonna actually show you what my skin looks like so like I said I've been using it for a while and I do notice a difference. So while I'm here, I just thought I'd show you my other skin must-haves. All the rest is honestly by Dermalogica. You guys know that I'm obsessed with Dermalogica and I have been for so long now. I used to work in a salon um, with Dermalogica, so that's how I actually found them. So the first thing I'm obsessed with is Daily Microfoliant. So this is like... It's almost like a really gentle exfoliator. It's just like a little powder. Like, I'm not going to pour any out because it'll go everywhere. But it's it's literally like a powder that you, like, pour into your hands and then you add a little bit of water and it, like, turns into a paste. So that, I use this every day. Like, every single day I'll use this bad boy. And then for cleanser, I've really been loving the Clear Start Breakout Clearing Foam Wash. So this is part of their Clear Start range, which is really good for acne um, and really good for teenagers who do suffer with acne. Like not even just teenagers, but anyone who suffers with acne, this range is unreal. But I've been loving this. The other cleanser, which I'm run out of, which I'm really sad, the... Um, I think it's the special cleansing gel. I used to use that every single day in the shower because that's an actual cleanser that you can remove eye makeup with so you don't have to use a different cleanser to remove your eye makeup. So I do love that one but because I've run out, I've been using this and I love this just as much but you can't use this on your eyes. This is just to your face. Next, I've been loving the Clear Start Blackhead Clearing Fizz Mask. Now, I'm pretty sure this is exclusive to Mecca. I could be wrong, but I'll leave everything in the description box below so you can check it out. But yeah, this is like a mask that you just like pump on, pump on, pump out and then rub it onto like your T-zone or wherever you want to, like wherever you get the most blackheads. For me, it's like my nose and my chin. And it honestly like fizzes up like it bubbles on your face it's cute but I'll just read it um, apply to areas of congestion allow to free three to five minutes to fully activate rinse thoroughly and yeah that's it I usually use this like once or twice a week whenever I feel and my favorite serum and moisturizer at the moment is the I think it's called the Biolumin C I don't even know how to say this but 
Biolumin C Serum. That's what it looks like. And this is part of the Age Smart range. So this says, high performance serum works with the skin's own defenses to brighten and firm. Advanced biotechnology fuses ultra stable vitamin C and palmitoyl tripeptide 5. Helping to dramatically reduce appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And you just smooth this after you've um, cleansed. So finally, I... This is like, I'm on my last leg of this bad boy, but this is the Clear Start Skin Smoothing Hydrating Lotion. This is one of like, I have quite oily skin and this, I swear to God, has been one of the best moisturizers I've used in a very long time. Like it doesn't make my skin oily or heavy. I don't know. I just really enjoy this. So they're the skincare products that I've been loving lately. So. I could easily use these, maybe except the fizz mask and this. I use them at like I use these boys at least once a week, but like these guys I use every single day, without a doubt. That is disgusting. And look, you can see my sty. That is so sore. Mm. Okay, so I'm back. I've washed my mask off and I actually had a shower at the same time. That's why I'm in a different outfit, but I don't know if you can see or if this camera really does its justice, but especially here is where I can like see the results from that mask. Like, I, I honestly have no word. Every time I look in the mirror after I use this mask, I just think, shit, why can't my skin look like this 24 seven? But I just love the feeling of my skin afterwards. Like it is so soft. Anyway. I'm going to go in with um, the Biolumin, Biolumin C Serum. And like I said, because of the sty under my left eye, I'm actually not going to be putting any makeup on tonight because the last thing I want to do is make it worse. Then I'm going to go in with the Clear Start Hydrating Lotion just as my moisturizer. Oh my god, my skin feels so soft. Oh my god. Love it. All right, well, I think I'm just going to end this vlog here as I'm not going to be filming while I'm out for dinner with the family. So I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry it was a little bit all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed the gym session that I did yesterday and hope you enjoyed watching me absolutely destroy myself <laughs> but i'll leave plc's information down in the description bow 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 down in the description box below so you can check them out if you wish and i'll leave like i said all my favorite skincare products including the mask and everything in the description box below and yeah like I said, if you like this video, make sure you give me a massive thumbs up as it helps me out a lot. And don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button down below. And I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.